After this, the obligations of Hajj, we said, assuming the state of ihram from the miqat, that it's not permitted for a person to pass by the landmarks, the miqat, except that he's in this, a, a state of ihram if he's intending Hajj or Umrah. Secondly, uh, uh, and the second obligation is that a person uh, does not لا يخرج لا يمكن يخ الخروج من عرفة قبل غروب الشمس هذا من الواجبات. From the obligations. لكن لو وقف وخرج ترك واجب لكن أدرك الركن. نعم. If the the second obligation is that a person is not permitted to leave عرفة until the sun has set. So the first one that we mentioned in terms of stopping at Arafah, this was from the Arkan. The wajib is that he does not leave uh, Arafah until the sun has set. So if he stopped at Arafah and then he left, he has fulfilled the pillar. However, he did not fulfill this obligation. And from the obligations is to remain a part of the night in Muzdalifa. And also the stoning of the pillars. On the day of Eid, it's only one single pillar which is stoned. And as for the 11th, 12th and 13th of Hajj, the one who is staying until the 13th of Dhul Hijjah, then he stones all three pillars. And also remaining some of the night at Mina. And this is during the nights of at Tashriq. And at Tashriq is the 11th, 12th and 13th of Dhul Hijjah. Naam. Now, and also uh, shaving the hair or shortening it. As for tawaf al wida, which is the farewell tawaf, i.e. the last action which you do, then this is from the obligations, but it is not from the obligations of hajj. So we said, not passing the miqat without assuming the state of ihram, and then remaining in Arafah until the sun has set, and then staying a portion of the night in Muzdalifa before Eid, in the night of Eid, i.e. before the day of Eid and remaining a portion of the night in Mina on the days of at tashriq the 11th, 12th, and 13th of Dhul Hijjah, and then stoning the, the pillar and uh, shaving or cutting the hair.